Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping All Subjects channel. I am also known as Prophet Howard. Not a prophet because any of these YouTubers, as egotistical as they are, think they can say who is and who ain't. You ain't you ain't got it like that, man. You ain't got it like that. But because I received this calling long ago, before I even had the wisdom and knowledge that I possess today. You know, see, the Most High gives you wisdom and knowledge in spurts. And uh, he don't give it all to you at once. But what I want to do is I want to go a little deeper uh, in regards to what we see in the world, and in particular the United States, uh, some of the, the storylines that we hear, and why. So, those of you that read the Bible, you know that the book of Revelation says, these will give their mind over to the beast, and that they will have one mind, to paraphrase the scriptures found in chapters 17 and 18 in the book of Revelation. Uh, I don't always go off into this because for one, I don't want them peoples to know everything that I know. You know, they already be fishing around with their agents and stuff like that. They know, see, people can say what they want. The devil knows who the real prophets are. He knows, or she knows. I keep calling him he. That's another thing. So what I'm going to do, and this was suggested by some of my subscribers in the live. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start writing uh, short books and for a small donation to the, the, the show you can get these short books you know they ain't gonna be my books books they ain't gonna be but they gonna be worth much more than the three dollar minimum cash app that I'm gonna suggest We'll do the content by request in short book. We'll do video. If you want both, donate to the show. I'll be doing the content by request for free, and that's no problem. But y'all just remember, man. Just, you know, remember the hard work that I put in. If you see my videos, who has more videos than me? Not many people. And y'all done heard me talk at length on many of these subjects. Because this is the All Subjects channel. Y'all done heard me talk at length on many subjects. Thirty-eight hundred plus videos. I put videos out most days. This week. I don't think I'm even going to take a day off till next week. So I'm going to keep putting out video. It's things I need to talk about. Now, what I want to talk about on here is what's going on in the world in relation to what the Bible says. The Bible says in Matthew 24 that, and because inequity will abound, the love of many will grow cold. When people watch the news, when people see how people do them in everyday life, they family, this, that, and the other, the love gonna grow cold. But remember, he told us to forgive. Forgive don't mean you be in cahoots with the person that offends you. Forgive means that you move on from it. 
but that you don't hold it against them even if you choose not to trust them anymore you hold no aught in your heart against the offender I've been offended by people on YouTube I've been offended by people at work I've been offended by relative I've been offended by uh, people at home or, or, you know you gotta forgive been, you get offended by your neighbors but what happens is the devil wants people not the devil wants you to either be too busy for your own spiritual good or not to be busy enough for your mind to become idle. One of the two things. Let me say that again. The devil wants you to be too busy where you neglect your spiritual life. Let me say it a little differently. Or to be not busy enough where your mind becomes her play playground. Excuse me. <clears throat> and this is what's happening with most people. Or another tactic the devil uses, bombard people with stress and trauma so that they don't be the mentors and the role models for their kids and their grandkids. So when the devil can get you out of character, the devil can get you uh, to neglect your spiritual life and your need to reconnect with the God that created the life that's in you. So what's going on is you got you got uh, you got racism all across the board, but in particular, mostly against us melanated ones where even some of our politicians would rather have people come over here that's not from here so they can deceptively uh, give opportunities to them. And this was a test to see if you would sit back and take it. So next thing you know, they're going to be getting the city jobs. They're going to be getting the county jobs, the state job, without uh, U.S. citizenship. That's what y'all voting for. When y'all pick these Democrats, Democrats are global. They're for globalism. They're not for nationalism. True conservative, which what you need to find and have as president and controlling either the House or the Senate at all times. Unless you want complete chaos. Now, you don't want them to control the House and the Senate because then they'll start being inconsiderate. Some of them. And they'll make everything like like the rich people are the majority. So you don't want them to have full control. I'm conservative, but I don't want them to have full control. But you don't want no globalist president that's going to be taking, we going to work, taking the tax dollars that we pay to build up this country and, and being in everybody else's business. So you don't want that. And you want a true conservative with true conservative thoughts and, 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 and uh, methods and motives so that they will build this up over here. This is where we live. We don't live across the world. We don't live in the Middle East. We don't live in the, uh, these other areas. We live in the United States. We live in North America. That's what we mainly need to focus on. And the problems we got over here, you got serial killers. You got uh, people getting dismembered, people getting pushed in front of trains. You got people getting robbed everywhere. You got drugs all over the place. People need Narcan to be revived only to need it again. Sometimes I be wanting to put my stuff on Facebook, but I just say, nah. Because sometimes it seems like it's casting pearls before swine. Because I remember I used to put all my videos on Facebook 
and people like wasn't watching them, so I stopped doing it. But the love is growing cold because people are seeing and hearing the negative behavior that the devil and the legions of demons that are released in the earth, even through the words that we say, wreaking havoc, causing poverty in the richest country in the world. And, and when you broke, it's something about being broke. It'll just make you downright angry. If you don't handle it right, remember you're supposed to cast down your imagination and everything that exalts itself against the Most High. The knowledge that we have of Him is that we're supposed to worship Him and Him alone, should we serve. That's supposed to come above our earthly situations. And we're just supposed to keep fighting through them earthly situations. But they put things in the food... And do things that, to the water, we should have the cleanest water in the world. They sometimes cause things in the mind. The symbolism, the, 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 some of the towers giving off signals that if you don't have a strong enough mind, if you don't have the, the heavens protecting you in the invisible realm, it could be a problem. And it is a problem for a lot of people. They do things and they don't even know why they do. Like the kids are violent. They allowing people to, to the, they, they don't give the kids what they need to have strong minds. And then they turn around after that and put these people in front of them that's going to have them acting savagely. Because they have a weak mind, they're going to mimic some of the savagery that they see in here. And nobody's trying to, you can't say nothing about certain things, but the people that don't allow you to say the certain things, they still will allow their puppets to say things that they shouldn't be saying. It's bullying. You will get thrown off of YouTube for mentioning certain things involving medicine but you look on YouTube and you got all these gangster rappers we'll come back and talk about it some more stay tuned